let's find the exact value of the secant of negative pi over 12. This is, in the nature, this is the same thing as the cosine, except we just reciprocate it. We'll do that at the end. Principles still apply. So for now, I'm just going to treat this as the cosine. Uh, so for cosine of this, um, it would be the same thing as saying, um, breaking this down, same thing as 2 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12. And this can be further reduced down to cosine of pi over 6 minus pi over 4. And this becomes cosine of pi over 6 times the cosine of pi over 4 plus the sine of pi over 6 times the sine of pi over 4. And over here we're going to get um, pi over 6, which is root 3 over 2. We're going to get root 2 over 2 for the cosine plus 1 half times root 2 over 2. Bring this down here, we get root 6 plus root 2 all over 4. Now, since it's the secant, we're going to reciprocate this. You're going to flip-flop it now. Do this. So we're going to get 4 on the top, and we're going to get root 6 plus root 2. Now this is right, but you don't want the radical on the bottom, so what we're going to have to do is multiply through by the conjugate on the numerator and denominator. So that's going to be root 6 minus root 2. Root 6 minus root 2. So what we're going to get here is on the bottom, the middle terms cancel out, and you end up with 6 minus 2. And on the top, you get 4 times root 6 minus root 2. And, well, these 4s are going to cancel each other out. And you're simply going to end up with root 6 minus root 2. Kind of nice, actually.